hello everyone hope everybody is doing great uh, today my name is Henry Harris and it's such an honor to be here with you today uh, I want to just come and talk about uh, my book that will be coming out uh, January the 4th uh, we're actually doing a lunch party on all my platforms where you'll be able to watch um, the celebration of my new book, The Sting of Rejection. But I just want to come and kind of share just a few thoughts um, to kind of add to the first promo video we did of The Sting of Rejection a few months ago. And, um, and that is, uh, what do you believe about yourself? And number two, why do you believe that about yourself? What you believe about yourself and why you have those thoughts or beliefs about yourself is so tied or connected to uh, rejection. Uh, all of it goes back to rejection. You know, when I was writing that chapter, uh, chapter one is called The Root of Rejection. I named it that because much of what we believe about ourselves is rooted in rejection. And I was thinking about the analogy, and I spoke about it in the book too. I was thinking about the analogy of a tree. You know, when you go and you see a tree or any plant, as a matter of fact, um, that tree cannot survive without it being watered. That tree cannot survive without roots. It takes roots for that tree to grow. And if you know anything about plants, sometimes roots can go very 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 deep and i'm starting to think today or wonder uh is that what many of our lives look like as it relates to rejection the pain the trauma the hurt the losses that we've experienced in our lives is it that deep that maybe we're not aware of it is it that deep that we have allowed certain people and it may even go back to our childhood to speak certain words i call them sometimes they could be word curses over your life where you start to believe them so i think uh, this book will really help you to realize who you are because you're not what they say you are you are who you say you are and it may get muddy it may you may get dirty but you may have to dig down to the roots of whatever that false belief you believe about yourself and dig it up. Let's just pull one out of thin air. I'm not good enough. Well, we know that's what you believe, but why do you believe that about yourself? Did somebody tell you that? Did a group of friends tell you that? What is the root cause of that? And once you get to that, that's when you will start to live a liberated and free life from rejection but as i said you have to get down to the root cause of it and that's what i had to do i had some false beliefs about, that i believed about myself that i had to get down to the root of it because i knew in my heart that if i hadn't gotten down to the root of rejection it will keep growing and growing and growing and sometimes we've allowed this stuff to even go from our childhood even well into our adulthood a lot of the things that we subscribe to and believe about ourselves that's just a little snippet i want to encourage you i talk about a whole lot more in my book i want to encourage you to get a copy january the 4th right here on facebook youtube we're gonna have a big celebration we got people from all over the world that's going to be celebrating uh, with us and i hope you have an amazing day.